Hey there everyone, what is up? This is Lifebreak. Welcome back to my playthrough of Etrian Odyssey 3. In the previous part we had reached the deep city, and in this part we're going to uh, obtain subclasses and I'm going to show you some spots where you can use the star key. So let's get that started then, shall we? Alright, starting all the way down here, this is good. We have to go back to the Celestial Palace, which has probably the most beautiful music I've ever heard. And we're going to accept otherworldly visitors. The Deep Cities, Razen de uh, Dieta, is the war against the otherworldly Deep Ones. Enter the Hall of the Conviction to learn about the threat the monsters pose. Now, it's not a long word, but I am pretty sure there's some French in there. If anyone wants to translate, that'd be great. Um, let's accept the mission. I'm grateful for your change of heart. Now then, the details of the quest again. Our role here in the Deep City is to, is to war against those dreadful monsters, the Deep Ones. The Deep Ones are monsters that lurk in the Abyss. They are sworn enemies to mankind, and no, I'm not using my Abyssal King voice because I don't have to. <laughs> I could tell you all, but understand, and would understanding would come easier were you to see it yourself. The labyrinth extends beyond the Deep City. There is a prison on the B 10th floor, the Hall of Conviction. Meet the Deep One in prison there. Once you grasp the nature of its existence, I will explain in my own words and intentions, as well as what the future holds for mankind. Oh, but first, in praise of your bravery, I bequeath unto you a technique handed down in my city. What on earth does bequeath mean? Now I have to write it down, and then I have to look it up, and then we're going to be all happy because I know what a word means. And maybe you will too. This is a learning experience. Bequeath unto you a technique. It was devised to combat the deep, deep Ones and dramatically heightens the human's combat effectiveness. In addition to your original specialties, you may learn and use skills of other sorts. But words alone cannot suffice to explain, I suggest you put it into practice. May fortune go with you, explorers. You may now, you may now learn a subclass. Set a subclass from the menu, the sea details. Oh boy. This is where stuff gets difficult, and this is why I made a nice list detailing which skills I would get after I get the subclass. So let's start with Amina. Amina is a hoplite. She is subclassing ninja. And we're and basically the only skill she's gonna get in here that really matters is in Poku. So we'll just get her on that. Okay, Gandra, our princess, is getting side sided with Monk for and we're gonna start heading for ascetic deeds. Okay. Kiara is our monk. She is citing princess. She will be getting royal veil. Okay. Zara is our zodiac. She will be citing ninja for Bushin. Okay. And of course, Vincent is our farmer. He is getting cited waddling for the debuffs. Awesome. Now, when you subclass, you get five skill points. Now, Amina here doesn't really care about Senpuku right now. I have other stuff to focus on. So let's go ahead and max anti-cold and continue working on anti-fire. Gendra does care about getting Ascetic Deeds as soon as possible, so we're going to start getting Ascetic Deeds. Those of you who don't know what Ascetic Deeds says is basically whenever Gendra uses a skill, she'll heal her own HP. Where do I start? Okay, Ascetic Deeds. What is the requirements for Ascetic Deeds? Okay, Ascetic Reward, Blood Return, Ascetic Deed. Okay. Ascetic Deeds requires Ascetic Reward, Level 3, and Blood Return, Level 3. Alright. Looks like we'll be able to start getting Ascetic Deeds in a few levels. Good. Okay, Kira, what are you getting? Your Sided Princess for Royal Veil. Do I need to level you up in any of your primary skills? Not really. So far, everything's looking so good. So I guess it's a good time to start getting Royal on you. Go ahead and get that to 5. No, I will not branch out from Monarch March. That's just silly. I only need one person with Max Monarch March. She's just getting Royal Veil for the extra 49. Basically now, every time the turn ends with both of them max HP, everyone else heals 92. It's a good boost. I like it. Sarah, you are sighted ninja. 
And you want Bushin. What does Bushin require? Kagaru at 3. Alright, let's just go ahead and get out of our way for Bushin. And I'm going to think about getting Otori later. Maybe. Depends on if I have skill points for it later. But for now, let's just focus on getting a Binary Fire. And Vincent, you're focusing on your Wildling skills. You are focused on these debuffs. Oh boy, because you need to do something with your TP, man. We'll start with Beast War to 3, Primal Jumps to 4. Or 3. Well, fine, both the 3 is fine. And that was, that settles sub-skills. Now let's go. Now the other plan for this episode is to go show you the Star Keys locations. Well, you know one. It's right here. I marked it. Star. And the other one is all the way back down on the second floor, which, if you remember in the video description for one of those videos, I said, we're not going to be revisiting the second floor for a long time. Yeah, we're about to revisit the second floor. So, first things first, we're going to enter the Undersea Grotto Depths, and we're just going to kind of backtrack our way towards the Star Key. I'm going to see you in a bit. Alright, after you're getting annoyed by Starfish and Iron Turtles on the way here, you just go through this door. You have the key, it won't ask, it won't prompt you anything, you just just now enter these doors. And you're going to enter a room with two red FOEs on the other end. These are the same FOEs as on the seventh floor called Scale Dragons. And quite frankly, if you're going to if you want to fight them, you're going to want to fight them one at a time, of course. Otherwise, this, that would be a disaster. But there is a way to get around them and get both treasures, and then you ha get to teleport out. Otherwise, you're stuck with them and you have to, you know, die. Which is quite not the, not the preferred alternative at all by a long shot. So, go around this corner, right here, and this is where things get difficult, because you have to lure him around. So what you want to do, step here, this should anger the one in front of me, he's going to follow me around this loop, and want to come out the other side, three side steps to the right, and then run for the treasure. In this one, we have a luck book, which is good. We like luck books. In this one is a coupon, which is probably the better of the items you're gonna get here, so come here for the coupon, definitely. Coupons are awesome. They have the price of one item you want to buy in the shop, which is always good. I mean, imagine if it was always bad. I mean, that'd just be horrible. Okay, we got both these chests. The room otherwise is simple enough. FOE locations, I believe, are here and here. Something along those lines. And then you just teleport. Alright, that's star key room number one. The other one's all the way back in the second floor. And hang on, gotta get the dogs. Okay, anyways, as I was just saying... The other one involves going to the second floor, and all I can recommend is bring a tent with you, so you can... I'm just gonna go buy a tent. No, I don't want to buy the tent at a discount. I'm gonna buy a tent to go with, and I'm gonna sell stuff, because I didn't do that. Well, for hormone, gives you the ocean gun, useless for this team, because no buccaneers on it. Silical sucker, sentry shell, same old stuff. Oh, new item available, rapier, and the viking helmet. About time we got a better helmet going around. I actually switched from a helmet to gloves because that Viking helmet decided it didn't want to pop up anytime soon. Oh, can I afford five Viking helmets? Oh, <laughs> I better. Okay, that's. Yeah, I can, obviously. Clearly. Well, anyone who's using Beast Gauntlets should be definitely be using this Viking helmet instead. So, yes, I want it. Yes, I want it. Gives strength, and it gives more defense. You can... No, you can replace... Well, yeah, of course you get more defense, but then you wouldn't be catching those 10% resistances to all those attacks. Actually, I could probably do, sit here, do a little bit of math, and figure out which one's better to replace, but for right now, I'll just go with, say, Beast Gauntlets. Uh, you keeping that Star Bandana, and you need to get rid of those Beast Gauntlets. Alright, Viking Helmets for almost everyone. Glorious. Alright, now let's go straight back into the labyrinth, and we're going to the first stratum, and then you just travel through these first floors again, 
And it won't be that long of a walk, so I'm sure you won't mind if I actually show it off. It's been a while since you've seen this nice, delicate red forest, and these poor, delicate, you barely touch them and they die, green durians and fang fish. I mean, come on. They don't stand a chance. They never did. Never will. Then you just go around this way, and then you run into a Great Lynx, which blindsides you, but does 10 damage, and you heal off 64. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, and then you just kick his ass. It's, it's, it's kind of refreshing to beat up on the things that used to kill you. Kind of. Except for the fact that I've already done that through the faux rushes, but... <laughs> oh well. What you gonna do? Gonna murder an entire species while you're down here. Oh no! Big green bird! I remember when you were dangerous. Now you're not. You still take quite a few hits to kill. Jerk. So yeah, you just go this way for about an eternity. You turn around at the spot. The FOE isn't there because of my recent foe rush. You know. Yeah. And then you go down here. Enter through this door. Rest at yonder camp point right here. So that... Uh, Zara's TP is at maximum, and we go this way. Now, when you're going this way, I hope you have. We probably I don't have it yet, but if you have a petrification charm that stops you from dying from petrification, then that would be a wonderful way to go in. It th that would be a wonderful thing if you want to go in this way. Just saying, because the FOEs here they will petrify you, and petrification is pretty much almost like death. So p try to play as uh, a petrification charm on your monk with party refresh that should help that usually helps me a lot but i don't have it yet and we've already <laughs> ran into a new enemy the demon octopus needless to say the silly crap right here he's no problem this demon octopus however is quite the problem i don't know if the octopus has a weakness i don't really care to say because i'm just gonna kill them off with this so let's see also this is a good time to see if it's weak to fire what did it just find? I really want to know. Okay, good. 292,031. Sweet! That's one way to kill them. Got an octopi horn. That's great. And this way. Oh boy, this is where the map decides. Oh hey, there's. this is a multiple choice thing. And so many useless paths going off this way. I know the one above us is useless. How far does it go? Oh, yeah, they go, like, two spaces, and then there's, like, a door. Like, there's gonna be a door here, a door here, a door down there. Kind of continues, there's a few certain breakpoints, but essentially, it just does that. I could be long, wrong about the length of the passageway, but I doubt that. Just highly doubt that. Okay, this door is important. But we're, it's not the one I want to go through. I believe this door is just dead ends, like, right there. And I'm doing this from memory, so of course if I screw up, I'm gonna screw up royally and on camera. Which would be embarrassing, to say the least. Okay, what are you? You also a dead end? No, oh, okay, this isn't a dead end at all. It just loops between this one and that one. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. So, either way, these doors are kind of useless. Awesome. I believe this one is the one we're going to be going through eventually in like two seconds. Uh, it, it's a lot of multiple choice doors. And there's still a few enemies here. New enemies just in this little area here. Of course they did that because you got star key in the second stratum. They're going to challenge you with third stratum like material. So this is kind of like visiting the third stratum except it's not. And then there's a door like right there and it doesn't go anywhere. I believe the door we want to go through is this one. Yes, it is. So, am I doing this wrong? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Okay, I'm clearly doing this wrong. So hang on, we actually do want to go up the door up there. We just need to clarify which door we need to go through first. Let's run into a fight before I start the shenanigans. No new enemies here. It's, it's still the same old great anaconda and the demon octopus. And as much as, you know, yeah, I should test for weaknesses. Let's try that. It's a squid, so maybe our octopus. Octopus? Octopus. Whatever. It's not weak to volt, and I doubt it's weak to fire. 
I mean, no, of course it isn't weak to fire. It didn't take damage from Hellfire. Um, so I'm gonna say it's weak to nothing. Maybe it's weak to, like, stabbing or something. I don't know. I don't know, because I keep missing it. Keep missing. Stop missing. Phone. Why do you torture me? Oh. I gotta take this call. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. So, sorry about that. Ay, ay, ay. Why does the phone always come on? Now the phone's coming on while I'm recording. Usually it's very good about not going off while I'm recording. Silly phone. Anyways, what you want to do is you're going to come down here and get this thing's attention. Now, this thing is kind of powerful. And I know I'm really being a little gutsy here, but let's try to fight it. Okay, meet the Golden Idol. The Golden Idol is mean, to say the least, and awesome, to say the most. He doesn't have any elemental attacks, and in fact, he has uber high defenses. So, the tactic you want to use here is to grant freeze arms to people, because it's weak to ice. So, just start granting freeze arms to people, use Aetheric Charge, and he takes more damage from ice than anything else, and of course, I want to make sure his defense is down. So let's see how this goes. Get a charge tactic out, freeze arms, Kira attacks, Golden Idol hits, Primal Drums lowers his defense, Amina hits for 86, and Zara does an Aetheric Charge. So far so good. They don't have 10 million HP like most, uh, most FOEs, so that's one good thing, I guess. But he's still a threat because of one attack he has that would petrify your entire team. And you want to bring Theric of Beast. So, good idea, bring Theric of Bees. And as you can see, now I'm doing genius amounts of attack, and it's... it's see, the fight's not that hard, it's just that... That little thing you have to do, it's just... He can hurt you very, very badly. And sometimes it's entirely luck-based whether or not you get past him. That's what I was talking about. Get that party refresh out. And this is another spot where Party Refresh will save your ass like 10 million times. Usually he doesn't petrify everyone in one fell swoop, but when he does, of course, you don't like it, so... 87, 1, 2, 1. Yeah, see, these physical attacks are not gonna do any good. You have to use ice if you want to get past him. And he didn't give me his diamond arm, which makes him a jerk. But later on in this floor, we're gonna be facing these guys in mass volume, so... Note that, yeah, he is kind of easy to beat if you have someone with ice like I do. But otherwise, you should avoid him like the plague. Avoid him like the plague. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Well, once we reach the stairs down back to the third floor, I'm going... Or was it? No, it's stairs up back to up to the first floor. I'm going to cut the video off as to not elongate one part of the... I know, the Star Room stuff, yeah. That's kind of what I was trying to say, so. This has been Life Break. Of course, thanks for watching. I'm going to say bye now. I'm going to see you guys next time. And then there's going to be dreams and happiness and more Star Key area. So I'm going to see you guys then. Bye-bye.